Uh, ah, this is what I want. What I really, really want. Ah, that's that's not what you want. What you really, really want. Lead it away from the house. Lead it away from the house. I am. You're not really. Also, skeleton behind you. Ah, God, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Uh, okay, hello, creeper. Goodbye, creeper. Goodbye, creeper. Bye, horny skeleton. The spider's attacking you. I don't know why. It's oh, daytime. Ow. Ow. More creepers. More skeletons. Ow. Ow. What the shit is happening? The apocalypse. Yeah. This zone. I, this is where I had four creepers in a row. Uh, however many mornings ago. Ah. So, what's the oh, best there's a creeper being... hiding in the trees. The trooper. Uh, shit. The what's trees the are now holes. Of, what, what's the best way of doing bread? We need. We just need to do it in the um, basin. Yeah. Yep. Uh, do we want a moat around our village? Because we're getting one. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can hear something scary. It sounds like it's in our. Oh, there's an Enderman in our house. Oh. Oh, it was <laughs> in your house. I was looking all over for that. <laughs> They can't get through the door. Did you kill it or give it a cup of tea? I have not done either. I've just left Fair it enough. there. Now final side's going to kill it. <laughs> or give it a cup of tea. Now our house is full of Enderman noise. <laughs> Dick. And we, most importantly of all, we've got a frog. <laughs> Pierre, he has a name. I don't think I've seen your frog yet. <laughs> come and see it in a minute. Yeah, come, come into our house. Yeah, I'm just going to finish go. making some bread. And, well. So you so, so you actually come into our house in about like three years then? <laughs> well, if you wait a couple of minutes, there will be another... Uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> We'll wait for the achievement then. Yeah. <laughs> I see. <laughs> and Your he's frog a sign? is in a glass thing. Indeed. Oh, oh ho, he, he, ho, baguette. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he, ho, baguette is what it says. I see you have like house. two separate beds. Yeah, this is my different room. Pad. Yeah, because I made us a lovely house and Ed's like, I'm going to build a box. So. <laughs> Yes. And I, I mean, to be fair, it was the other way round. Ed built the box first. He built the box over there, floating in nowhere, and then I built a lovely house, and then he built his <laughs> secondary box. My turret room. Either way, he's choosing to sweep away from it, so... Uh, <laughs> Woohoo, I got a, uh... Thingy Bob. Oh, thingy me Bob, I wanted one of those for ages. A sponge. Uh, I prefer do what's it. <laughs> Oh shit, there's lots of creepers round our back door. Crazy. Oh, it's also a horny skeleton. Well, you do have your sleeping bag. Oh, there's two skeletons fighting. Oh, and there's an enderman. Are we planning to sleep? Uh, yes. Oh shit, the Enderman oh, got pissed no. off. Uh, angry Enderman here, he's killing me. Right, thanks for the help, guys. Oh, and we killed the Enderman. And my boots have broken. Yeah, after it killed me. Anyone else sleeping? No, because it's now daytime. Yep. I mean, that doesn't normally stop you, Mike. Well, indeed. I mean... <laughs> this game is somewhat unrealistic and does not let me sleep in the day. Uh, final sight, what would you like your lumber axe to be made of? Uh, one second. Um, lumber? I, I, I don't think I have a, a <laughs> cast for making it out of time. If people want... 
we could set up a twilight portal. But yeah, so how do we actually make one of these twilight things? There's no indication. Well, if you come, if you come, come to the portal area. Uh, you're not going to build it in Ed's flower garden, are you? No, I'm putting it. Um, no, I, I just put these flowers here. Oh. These flowers are used for the I, I, I thought they were a replacement for the flower garden that you destroyed previously to make the uh, between portal. Mm -hmm. Normally it's a diamond, but in this one, apparently it's a star metal ingot. Okay. That looks like a beneath port teleport. Oh no, there we go, that one. <laughs> oh, bye oh, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. So uh, is Mike going to die immediately? Uh, it depends on where the portal does, because sometimes it can glitch out and um, spawn you in a um, biome that you're not supposed to be there at the moment. <laughs> yeah, what's good. And then there were two. Oh wait, you're not even in the village. Oh, I'm the only one in the village. Okay. Well, you know, I am the only gay in the village. Ah, oh, now I want to see a crossover with that and the prisoner. Uh huh. Be uh, interesting. Yep. Oh, where did the final go? I crashed. Ah. <laughs> Wait, if you see any crows, kill them and get their feathers. What the flying f is this? Is it a flying crow? No. Kill it and get its feathers. Why do we want crow feathers? To make a map. Oh, of course. This uh, makes so much sense. It's some sort of um, stone thing with like a weird like green squares around like around it that are like you could walk through that are just sort of show up in your vision. It's kind of like a force field, but you can walk through it kind of thing. Cool. I have no idea what it is. I have no other useful oh, thing to add. What the hell? I wolf. Oh, f is that firing bloody ice or something? Yeah, it's a winter wolf, I believe. Yeah. Oh. Are you sure it's not Garuru Mom? Digimon. Oh, a Digimon mod for Minecraft would be pretty cool. Okay, here is your iron bronze lumber axe. It is well established, magnetic, dense, and slimy. Just like me. There's these flowers. Oh, I have an arcane scroll of smite. That seems pretty cool. Oh, this is useful. Uh, what the hell is this thing up here? It's the, uh... It's a giant diving board. It's the astral sorcery, um, area. Oh, it must be the astral plane. It's so high up. <laughs> well, I need to, to get the starlight. Aha, and, and moving 100 meters closer to the stars makes a significant yeah, difference. I, I, I made that. I already this is exactly made that. What Mike oh. just said. I already made that statement, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. If I jump off this giant diving board. Oh, well, it doesn't matter now. I'm going to find out the hard way. Okay, no, well, it does. If you've got the slime boots, you'll Yeah, I was going to ask if like the slime boots are enough for that or if they have like a limit. And no, yeah, they yeah. are enough. All right, um, Duffy, as as you have your atlas on you, right? Uh, I do. Could you jump through the twilight portal and then mark it? Um, no, I don't really fancy that, to be honest. Not after you've all gone to different places and there's stuff there that's going to kill oh, me. Well, the only reason I've gone to different places is because I crashed. What if I crash? <laughs> have you crashed yet? No. Uh, how do I get oh, back God. if I go through it? Um, you jump through the other end. Okay. Mike was so having trouble we... finding where that was. So what, yeah, yeah, that's well, because he wanted... Because I didn't mark it. Oh, oh geez, the, going through the portal is quite noisy. Okay, I'm in the Twilight Forest. Oh, Cobalt, shit. Add marker. I have marked the portal. Ah, uh, okay, so it's over there. Right, so it wasn't actually in the... Um, Ooh. No. Twilight Oakwood. That sounds cool. Oh. Okay, I have 34 sponges. Um, are we uh, going to want to build, like, a structure around this portal to stop dudes wandering into it? No, not really. No. Are we going to want to build a structure around this portal to make it easier to see? Uh, yeah. 
you want. Anyway, I'm going back home. I've got tools to make, but not with slime bindings because we don't have enough slimes. Ah, the noise! Ah. Oh. See, that's an unrealistic thing about Star Trek. Apparently, they uh, should be wearing earplugs every time they go through the transporter. Oh. Dang it. A bucket of milk is an unfamiliar item. <sighs> that's annoying. What, do you, is milk an unfamiliar item, or oh. is it just the bucket? Oh. That was right outside our window. Yeah, it snuck up off me. Shit, another one. Ow. Oh, that one took out our window. <laughs> uh, that's annoying. Oh, yeah, your house has now got a big hole in We need a bit now. more of a defense perimeter, I think. Yeah, I think having creepers just walking into our base is not great. Well, eventually, with Astral Sorcery, I can do a ritual that does an area effect that stops things spawning. Yes. Yeah, well, I don't want no useful. creepers eventually. I want no creepers now. And a pony. <laughs> Well, he's off. He's off in the water. I am on my way back now. Uh, yeah, I've just made a moat. Like, if we're going to have holes, we might as well have use them for something. <laughs> I'll just go grill the sponges. <laughs> or are you going to put them under a bright light and be like, where did you come from? Who are you working for? Who sent you? <laughs> Think, like I'm not sure we've been overly um, organized about where we've been putting things. I I've been generally merging stacks of stuff into the same chest and putting similar items in the same chest. But if we've got like half of the wood in one chest and half the wood in another chest, it's just going to yeah. continue to be like that. Yeah, I I've generally been putting things in wherever I could find the space because there's well, no space Well, that's why there hasn't been any chest. space. <laughs> That's because there's not been any space in the chests. Yeah, but a lot of the things that you want to put in chests are already in the chests. Yes. You just have to well, merge it into an existing chest. I, yep. Yes, I try to do that if I can. <laughs> like, but it, I don't know what chest it's in, problem. Oh, <laughs> no. Well, apparently I won't get to, get to sleep because people are sleeping already. <laughs> Indeed. Burning skeleton. I need to spend a zither bar. You need to do what to a bra? I need suspenders in a bra. bra. Yeah, because I'm being a lumberjack, and that's okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, like the appropriate music. You just ran through me. Sorry. Should we sleep again? Before we yeah. get mobbed by mobs again? Which I'm currently being done. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. I'll see you, X. Sleeping is in here. Mm -hmm. I was going to see if I could help with lighting things up. Well, I mean, we're lighting things up now. Oh, shit. Sorry. Yeah. Cooper, 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 Cooper. Got it. Oh, that drops stuff. Okay, we could do with a sleep. There's like an army heading towards me. Okay, I'm in bed. And there's four of us, two people need to sleep. Okay. I'm in the happening dimension. Right, I'm gonna go to sleep. Then. Well, that was silly of you. Probably a good idea. So apparently, now only be three of us. Final sight is running away faster than a raccoon. Uh, there's something on fire over here. Oh, it appears to just be the ground on fire. 
Yeah, it's probably from where I hit something with my blood lamp. Oh, wait, you have a sword that sets things on fire? No, the thing I use to light things up. Uh, that really doesn't explain any further. It sets things on fire. <laughs> right, so the answer to Sometimes. my question was yes. It's not a uh, sword. Well, it's not a sword. <laughs> okay, but you have a thing for hitting things with that sets them on fire. Sometimes like, it sets Whether it's a sword or not is kind of academic, really. I feel like this is not, is not the right thing to use when fighting in our base. <laughs> like, setting things on fire accidentally seems worse, if anything. Are you not worried about all this light pollution? Would you rather have um, zombie pollution? No, I'd rather sleep at night. Well, I can make some nocturnal powder for you, if you want. Oh, that would be a useful thing to have in real life. Oh, you've ruined it. You've put a light in the path under a torch. Let's see how that's ruining anything. Well, there's a hole in the path now. Looks just a dirt block in what's supposed to be a path. And there's a torch right there. Well, you can break it. Well, now I've got asymmetric flowers. It's like a mini Enderman. Oh, dear. And then the mini. Where do we get iron from, by the way? Uh, it's hematite, isn't it? An iron mine. Indeed, yes. <laughs> you know what I was at, but I meant. <laughs> um, only vaguely. Well, I mean, an iron mine is, of the iron An iron mine is not a helpful <laughs> spot. <laughs> Would you prefer a cat iron mine? Uh, is it is it a uh, hem hematite iron? <laughs> Can someone answer my question? <laughs> Hematite. Yes. Yeah, did you want to know where some iron, like an iron mine was? I mean, I did, but I'm capable of working that out given the knowledge of... Uh, what it's somewhere a little okay. ahead of you. Yes. And also, Tufty would not like you nullifying his um, moat. Yeah. Plus, don't fill in the yeah. moat. We do have to be able to, you know, we do have to be able to travel, you know. Yeah, but like it's everybody jumping. has the bouncy boots and the sling, so. I do not have the sling. Well, get a sling. <laughs> Why is there a thing on fire here? Ah, uh, is it because Final Sight's been using his fire wand that's not a fire wand and not a sword that sets things on fire sometimes? It may be. Only if I hit a mob with it. Uh, you didn't compress all the coal, did you? No, I compressed two stacks of coal. There's still like four more stacks in the I'm good coal because drawer. Because I'm, I'm going to need half a stack to make this sooty coal. To make what? Sooty, sooty marble. Sooty marble. Ah yes, you already had some of that earlier and I made the sooty joke. <laughs> it wasn't worth it. Well, yeah, it wasn't a clean sweep. Well, mm. if you're going to keep saying things like that, I'll sue you. <laughs> Mike, your hole is huge. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm fairly sure. Oh no, is that the hole I was digging stuff out of? You say you had a know. I, I mostly remember um, helping rescue Sutter's corpse from there. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was the first time I saw it. <laughs> Mike's hole is not only huge; it's also full of zombies. Mm -hmm. Were you doing? Did you say you made apple pie? Yes, I made some apple pie. Did you take all of the apple pie? <laughs> um, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> very helpful. Very nice. Like, I made some apple pie, guys, for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I put some in the chest. Don't put apple pie on your chest. Yeah. It goes in your mouth. Well, at least not with whipped cream. Okay, actually, from the, the rooftop arcade, the, um, the newly lit countryside is quite attractive. Looks a bit like fairy lights. Yeah. Also, there's quite a lot of fire out there that Final's been setting fire to things. I don't, I don't see fire, I see flowers. <laughs> I see fire. Northwest, just the other side of that tree. Yeah, there. Oh, yeah. He's just run past it.
Also, he's about to run into a patch of Venus flytraps. Ah, I bounced off. Oh, no, back up again. I see no fly, fire. I see flowers. It's right where you're standing. There's a flower. What the animated orange thing? This thing here. Presumably, it's just. Oh, it's floating in midair for me. I don't even see it. Right. Oh, no. Stand still. Stand still. It's directly in between us, about halfway in between us. Yeah, you just stood in it. Still have loads of wood and nowhere to put it. Ah, <laughs> oh, you poor soul. You'll find the right person someday. One moment, I'm just making I'm, I'm making a um, drawer for this wood. Oh, don't put your wood in a drawer. What's that massive, like, oh, that's your um thing, isn't it? Astral thing. <laughs> yeah. His astral diving board. <laughs> can we just actually build a swimming pool under that so that you can use it as a diving board? Final's new Twilight Forest portal opens up a whole new dimension of adventure for our group. So join us again soon for that. Toodle pip!